everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so today i've got a video on my everyday makeup look these are the products that i'm currently loving and my routine right now it has changed a lot throughout the years and i feel like um now that i'm in my 30s i don't feel like i should be wearing the same makeup that i was wearing back in 2016 so a lot has changed and um i want to get back into filming regular content again and i know i say this all the time but i want to start doing my celebrity makeup looks again and the first person i want to start off with is anne hathaway because i love her and so i want to be doing that and just um vlogs here and there about what i get up to in my day-to-day -day life so yeah this is my makeup look that i i do every single day and um, sometimes i will go you know a little bit more minimal than this and those looks will be coming too and also i have a few occasions coming up that i'm very excited for and i want to do uh, a lot more looks as well so yeah it's my everyday makeup look if you guys haven't already please subscribe like comment and share and um let's get into the makeup okay, so today i'm just going to be doing a very everyday makeup look my go-to current makeup look that i've been doing every single day i've stopped buying new makeup unnecessary makeup because i've literally given all my makeup away so i've been disciplined ever since i got married <laughs> so i've washed all my brushes as well and i'm going to start with the um, tutorial um i don't know if i should tie my hair back. so this is my natural hair by the way i just literally woke up like this this is i tend to keep my natural hair more often now i used to be so embarrassed of my natural hair when i was younger because i always thought it was like a really big bush and it was frizzy but the frizz has calmed down so much and the texture of my hair has really changed so let's get my hair back to that aside right this hair is not cooperating so i've already done uh, my skin prep um, so i'm gonna be doing just a little bit of color correcting i usually have like this five o'clock shadow around my mouth area and whenever I apply foundation, it can look slightly gray. So I just take my lipstick. Honestly, I just take my lipstick. This is the Juvia's Place lipstick in the shade Me. It's my favorite one. And because I finished one already, this is the second one. This is the first time in my life I have ever finished a lipstick. So I just get this little brush, which is clean. And I just tap my lipstick. And I just very lightly go in circular motions around my upper lip area and that's what i currently do for color correcting very weird and then i go in with my foundation and the foundation that i absolutely love um and also the l'oreal one so this is the nars light reflecting foundation in the shade punjab and this is like the perfect shade for me um and i literally just take that onto the back of my hands but i always shake it first because i feel like if you don't shake this product well it doesn't apply well so I take it on the back of my hand about two pumps and then with my finger I just dot it in the places um, well basically everywhere Okay, so my foundation is all done now. I'm gonna move on to contour. I literally just go down from the top of my ears and I just do a little, just slightly, because I don't want my face to look very snatched. I actually like the fact that I've got some weight on my face because I feel like, yeah, that looks better on me. And then I just go, I, I always contour my nose because my nose is like really big. And then I would just sort of blend that out. And the brush that I use is this MAC stippling brush, which is a very old brush but i absolutely love it it's the best thing to blend your contour out with so let's go in upwards motion and then i just go down and then i blend this okay so the cream blush that um i love using is the stila cream blush in the shade gabera i feel like nobody talks about stila anymore and it's just gone off the radar uh, this is such a beautiful color and as you can see i have lip pan that's how much i love it it's such a beautiful coral um shade and i love coral shades because i feel like it gives me such a youthful look it just brings so much color back to the face i feel like because um where well, i didn't have the blush so i take it really high up 
almost connecting that with my eye. Okay, that is the cream blush done. We can now move on to concealer. Um, so concealer, for concealer, I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And you know, I actually switched with between the two shades so 20 and 08 20 is a lot more closer to my complexion and 08 is considerably light so we just like to mix these two and i'm just gonna have i don't like to add too much concealer do you guys remember when i first did youtube videos i used to go like ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, not anymore not anymore those are the old days we don't talk about those days <laughs> Right, literally a dot. And notice how I don't put it directly under the eye. I just do it on my crevices, which is like right here and there, and my hollows. I just take a little bit of this. This is not all the time, but I just add a dot of this, like so. Bring that out. I okay, I'm really happy with how my base is. Looking. And now we're gonna set all of this with. Um, powder and the powder that i'm going to be using is of course huda beauty in the shade banana bread her powder is very finely milled it is very long wearing and it gives me such a beautiful flawless under eye and also like my base it just this powder is not going anywhere on your face it does not slip and slip right we're going to set all of this in place and i am taking my big powder puff from amazon this is the most flexible amazing powder puff ever because it's so big i feel like i could just do my face in a second so let's take huda's powder i take some of her powder and then i tap it on the back of my hand and i press this in i don't like to do the baking method um i i did for a while and then i just i think this way is far more effective so pressing the powder in is going to really help you lock God, her powder is so so good look at the difference it's really really good she honestly smashed it with her products i swear to you and now i literally just like go everywhere else so on top of my brows down to pretty much my entire face basically so just pressing that one in and you know what i love about this powder it smells so good i know a lot of people don't like fragrance in their makeup i do all right guys my brows are done like i said i just fill in the sparse areas it's nothing too crazy it's not too defined i don't go with concealer and do the whole carving out the brow situation and do that uh, i don't think i've ever done that have i ever done that correct me if i'm wrong because i'm not sure i don't go back and watch my youtube videos because they cringe <laughs> okay so brows are done now for those of you who don't know or if you do know i've got two palettes out which is my Romina collection. I've got a very beautiful warm neutrals palette, which is an everyday palette, if these are the colors you're looking for. It is absolutely stunning. The shades in here just scream uh, fall, winter, everyday warm neutrals palette. They're very, very pigmented. And I'm selling this on Etsy because my website just always decides to crash on me. I don't know why, and I can't get it back up. So at the moment i'm selling them on etsy i will have a link in the description box below these are just this, this is a, an amazing palette it's very lightweight and very thin so you can store this anywhere and you can travel with this as well i've also got you know my Romina golden syrup highlight palette you've got four versatile you've got four versatile shades which are just so beautiful you've obviously got you know the rose gold the antique gold the yellow gold and the champagne gold um so whichever one suits you most i use you know all of these i also use these as eyeshadows sometimes because they're very very pigmented like very pigmented so those two i have released and they um i'll put the link in the description box below for you guys to check it out and i also do want to come out with a few more products so i'm working on that this is the shade that i always lean towards it's like the most perfect brown warm shade for your eyelids what i'm going to do first is add a tiny bit of powder onto my eyelids because that is actually the first thing that gets very oily so i just add a little bit of powder beforehand and i go in with that beautiful shade and 
I don't like to add too much eyeshadow now and I don't add any eyeshadow on my lower lash line unless I'm going to um, you know an event or it's a wedding then I like to move on and do like a very tiny wing almost a wing that you can't really see and then I like to go in with some black eyeshadow the black in my hazelnut haze eyeshadow palette is the blackest eyeshadow you will ever use um, and also this reminds me of the makeup by Mario palette I'm using the Maybelline hyper precise um, eyeliner I don't actually know what time it is so as you guys can see yeah I feel like I'm running out of this and I need to get a new one and I did I, I went into groups yesterday and I completely forgot to go I can't talk to you so just a very tiny baby wing and then with a small brush like this i'm going to be taking the black eyeshadow from my hazelnut haze eyeshadow palette and i'm basically gonna go over that wing with the black eyeshadow just to intensify it just a little bit so let's do that this is the maybelline extra i think this is a very black maybelline lash sensational and i love that it's got a curved tip which is good so i don't think you guys are going to be able to see but let's just do this one this guy right <clears throat> so this is what my eyelashes are looking like Let's look at the difference i'm gonna do the um second eye now so just dip once into the tube and use that for one eye don't if you consistently put it back in the tube you're gonna pick up a lot of product and that's gonna leave a very clumpy situation on your eyes my lower lashes are quite long as well so i don't like to apply too much mascara um, I've got this Ina Cosmetics 900 24 hour eye pencil. Oh, wow. I didn't even. Oh, I didn't know you had this. So late to the game. It's got like a smudger at the back. That's good. Um, so, yeah, just taking this. This is extremely black. And I tight line with this because it lasts all. The eyes are all done now. So, we're almost finished with the makeup. Um, of course, it takes me a lot longer to do it on camera because. I have to talk you guys through the steps. Um, so I'm going to move on to my lip uh, my, my lip pencil right now. This is the L'Oreal Colour Riche um, 107. This is Sienna, Sienna Sunset. I quickly line my lips. So this shade isn't too dark. And then I'm going to be taking my favourite lipstick, which is the Juvia's Place lipstick in the shade Me. This is such a beautiful terracotta brown warm shade you guys will see i've spoken about this a lot hey i don't like to do too much lipstick so i dab and then i pat in with my finger sometimes i will take the benefit Bene tint this is my favorite tint from the benefit range and i will just take off the excess and then put that in the center of my lips So usually I might go over uh, my blush with some powder blush, but today I don't feel like I need it. Maybe I do, I don't know. Um, but, you know, I, I just can't bother to get it. It's in the bathroom. So let's not. So that is all my makeup all done now. And what I'm going to do is take out my hair. And I don't know if I should stick with my natural hair right now. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. But um, I'm probably going to style my hair and then come back on here and wrap up the video. And... Um, <coughs> okay guys this is my fourth time recording 